Aquaman, King of the Seven Seas, has made a dive into the Watchtower. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Watchtower. And today, I got in the Aquaman 1-6 scale maquette by Tweeterhead. I am super excited to have this one in. Uh, this is one that went up for pre-order last September, so I just got him in. So they've had him out, you know, in a little under a year, which is pretty good for Tweeterhead, considering their Scarecrow took them, like, uh, almost two years to come in. So really cool to have this one in so quickly. And with this one coming in, this will complete my one six-scale Justice League collection. Aquaman's the last one I needed to complete that original seven. So I now have all original seven members of the Justice League. So really excited to have him in now and, you know, get him assembled and see how he looks. Uh, yeah, so very, very excited to have him in. Um, for anybody who hasn't been here before, we're going to go over the box here. And then we're going to get the foam out of the box. Look at the statue inside the foam to see how it comes. And then I'll have them assembled and then we'll do a review of them, all right? So without further ado, let's go ahead and go over the box right now. So this box right here. Uh, you have this, you know, the Aquaman statue right here, the blue, you know, the background, and everything, the water, and everything. It says you know, Aquaman 1 6 scale cat. Side orange with the Aquaman logo. That back, blue sky, a little bit of water. Other side here, Aquaman logo, orange background again. Top, Aquaman 1 6 scale. Bottom, nothing, as always. Uh, let's go ahead and get the foam up here now, guys. All right, everyone, we are ready. Uh, have the foam up here, ready to open it up and look at the figure inside the foam. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, so here he is. Uh, as you see, here's that water base right there. The hand holding the trident. There. The clean-shaven head sculpt. The bearded head sculpt right there. Uh, the body. And look how, look how that orange just pops on there. The clothes look really good on this. I'm excited to get him to assemble. And then the other hand, the harpoon hand right there. All right. So there he is, guys. Let's go ahead and get Aquaman assembled. All right, everyone. So um, full confession here. So this is like, I've had some major audio issues today trying to make this video. Uh, so this this assembly part and some of the other parts have just had some real audio issues. So this is actually my third time trying to do the assembly video here. So um, I'm not actually going to take Aquaman off of the water because uh, it is such... So the first time that I went to do it, I thought that it... The, there was something wrong with the pegs and it wouldn't fit in right because I could not get uh, this to go in. Um, so I finally got it to go in uh, right. I thought I was going to need a replacement. I finally got it to go in right, and then audio didn't work and everything. I took the whole statue apart, went to do it again. Again, had a really hard time getting this peg uh, into the water. So for the third time, I'm just like, screw it. I'm not taking it apart again. He's staying on there. So we'll we'll put everything else together, guys. Aquaman staying on the water, so uh, you're not gonna be able to see the bottom of it and everything. But and I apologize, but this has been a day. I have spent so much time just trying to make this part of this video with audio issues. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this time it turns out right. Um, but all right, so here is Aquaman on the water and everything. Uh, he is looking really, really good. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do this. Uh, you know, the trident arm real quick. So this trident arm right here uh, looks really, really good. Really, really cool with the trident arm and everything right there. I like what they did. You know, the easy thing would be to do to put it in this hand, but they switched a little bit, put it in this back hand. Really cool. Uh, let's go ahead then and look at the head skull. So we have this clean shaven one right here. We'll go ahead and put that in. There is that clean shaven head sculpt right there, guys. Looking really, really cool. Very dynamic pose here. He looks so, so cool. Very well done there. I like this one a lot. We take, okay, so we're going to take this one off right here. Do that. And then we are going to do this long hair uh, bearded portrait. So that is that right there. So there's the long haired portrait right there. 
and that one that one looks really cool as well. And again, we'll get into this more when we go into you know when we go into uh, review and everything. But there's that long haired portrait that looks really cool. And then we're gonna take the trident arm off, and we're gonna put in. A harpoon hand right here. So there's that harpoon hand then. And again, that's that, you know, that, that 90s Aquaman look right there. That looks really, really cool. Really, really cool. Yeah, that looks really good. All right. So there he is, all assembled, guys. Let's go ahead and go to the review now. All right, everyone. We have looked him over and we are ready to do the review now. So, but first things first before we get into the review, some good news. I wasn't able to get that peg to go in all the way. So uh, basically just what I had to do was um, I took a long screwdriver, a, a thin one, and the, the plastic that was in there was just a little bit off from where the peg was coming down. So I just gently worked it over uh, a little bit and was able to slide him in and everything. So I won't have to send him back. So I'm super excited now because this is going to be the one that I am keeping. Uh, so as always, guys, we're going to start down here at the base, and we're going to work our way up. So this base, this base looks awesome. I can't get over how cool this base is. Um, such a great, great uh, looking base here. Uh, the water effect and everything looks really, really good on it. Uh, it's just, it's absolutely outstanding. Such a nice job with the base here. Uh Look at, I mean, just look at all the blues and everything and the white of the foam. It looks really, really good. Uh, be careful with this, guys. Uh, it it looks like it, um, it can be very, very fragile. So just be careful with that. But the water effect looks really, really good on this. And then if anybody was worried, like, maybe, like, you know, this is going to be... Like, and then moving up to the legs and everything and the upper body... Uh, so this, this is this classic tweeter head right here. Uh, the the paint is just real sharp and real clean. There's no overdue, like, shading or, like, anything like that. This is a classic gold or silver age water, or Aquaman. I don't say water man. Just coming out of the ocean here. Great, great looking fall and everything here. This is a great looking Aquaman. The torso, the, I mean, the, the lower half looks really good. And then you got the belt right there, uh, that yellow right there. You know, maybe could have added a little more, like, shading your stuff into it. But, you know, like I said, this is that classic Aquaman, classic tweeter head. Um, it looks really, really good. Yeah, nothing to complain about there. So good. And then this upper body. Look how great this looks. This, this is so well done uh, with the scales and everything. This orange just really, really pops. And look how... Symmetrical, all the scales are. This looks great. Someone did a really good job of sculpting all this. Such a nice job. And then that green of the glove and everything really pops right there. Really cool right there with that glove. Moving down the other arm, you got the trident here. The trident looks really good. Really nice look at the trident. That looks really good. It's cool. Nice gold to it. Really pops. Again, very colorful piece. Very, very, very well marked. And then, I'm not going to put this on for right now, but I'm going to show you the harpoon hand. So there's that harpoon hand again. Really nice swap out here. Um, you could probably maybe could have dirtied up the bandages and stuff a little bit more. Maybe put a little bit more wear on the bandages. Uh, maybe, but this is not what I'm going to be displaying. I'm going to be displaying him with the trident because he is Aquaman, the king, and the king needs his trident. So this is this is not I'm gonna be playing with this. So this is this is a fine add-on. Um, but the trident. The trident is what I'm just playing him with. And then next we have the head sculpt. And this clean shaven head sculpt looks so so good. Those piercing blue eyes. Hair looks really good. Uh yeah, he looks absolutely outstanding. Look how nice all of this looks. The shading and everything on the skin. The skin looks really good. Uh, yeah, like I said, the hair again. Very nice swap. Did great detail in there. Really good. Give me a second, and I'll swap out the heads. All right, and then we have that long-haired bearded portrait, or I'm calling the Anson Mount portrait, because this guy looks exactly like Anson Mount from Hell on Wheels. 
Um, but very nice head sculpt there. This one again is great. Look at the flow of the hair and everything. Really, really well sculpted. Great shading and everything in there. Hair looks really good. Beard looks great. Again, those piercing blue eyes. It all looks really good. Uh, I I don't know what head sculpt I'm going to display it with. Uh, maybe probably the clean shaving because it's that classic Aquaman. But this one. This is a winner, too. You cannot go wrong with this head sculpt as well. And then, you know, there he is. Um, all put together. Let's go ahead real quick and swap out the trident. So there he is. You can see him with the trident. Or not with the trident, but with the harpoon hand. No trident. Looking just like that. Um, a cool look as well, but I think you got to go with the... You gotta go with the trident. It just adds such a presence to it and everything. Oh uh, yeah, gotta add the trident. But there he is. Great, great statue. If you are an Aquaman fan, if you are a, you know, Peterhead Justice League collector, you need this Aquaman. He will look so good with the rest of the Justice League line that Peterhead's doing. Outstanding piece. I can't wait to see who they do next for the Justice League. Hopefully, fingers crossed, Green Arrow or Black Canary. But whatever they, they do, I'm sure they're going to kill it. But this Aquaman, back to him. Guys, it's a great, great piece. Still available at Sideshow. Pick this one up if you need an Aquaman. He's awesome. Um, as always, thank you all so, so much for watching. And I will see you the next time I log in for Monitor Duty up here in the Watchtower.